Coach, what was the, uh, what was the recipe for the success? <laughs> I don't know if uh, we didn't really change a whole lot. I thought we were uh, playing pretty well, sticking to what we were supposed to do defensively. Um, just told our guys to keep on fighting. And, uh, you know, it didn't look pretty there for a while, but I got to give our guys a lot of credit. They stuck with it. I just kept telling them, that, you know, it takes three, four, five stops in a row. We can get back in this game. Even at that 10-minute mark, I think we were down 14 or 13, whatever, timeout. I told them the same thing. So I'm um, just proud of our guys. They hit some big shots, some tough shots late in the game. Uh, ran a lot of stuff through Brandon there. Um, it was one of those games where uh, really physical, a, a lot of fouls called. So just had to keep staying in um, attack mode, you know, keep, keep being aggressive. And our guys, our guys really stepped up and made some, made some big shots. And uh, when did you feel the point, or when was that turning point for you were going, hey, we might have an actual shot to, might actually pull this off? You know, we're, you know, Logan made that three and got fouled. I think that was a big one for us. Just he cut it from five to five to one or four to zero or whatever. So, um, you know, we always felt like we were doing a pretty good job defensively, getting some good things offensively. Uh, the lead just kept growing just, you know, little by little. So. Um, just told our guys to keep sticking with it. You know, once, Lo once Logan made that shot, um, Brandon made a shot to, shot to go ahead. So, uh, again, just really proud of our guys, one through ten. Uh, Cass had some really big minutes. Um, you know, Mason played the last eight minutes, minutes or so of the game. So, our, I, I thought our bench, our, our bench really helped us. Trevor made, made a ton of big shots and free throws down the stretch. So, really good team win. I've been preaching, it, preaching that to our guys. It's, it's going to take all 15 of us. Um, and, I, and I really feel like that was the case tonight. And, uh, and on top of that, the rebounds, offensive, offensive boards, you guys crashed the boards, yep. got extra possessions, and it paid off in the end. Yeah, you know, I'd really challenge our guys at halftime to rebound better. Um, and I think they got four offensive rebounds the first four possessions of the second half. So I called a quick timeout, uh, really tried to, um, you know, re-challenge them again. We had some really, really big offensive rebounds in the last couple minutes of the game. Uh, Sean had one where we got an extra possession. Uh, Mason got a big one. So, again, it, it was a team effort. Our, our guys continued to play extremely hard all the way through and just, uh, j just, re just re really proud of them. Uh, big win for our guys, uh, big win for our program. Jordy, how do you think the Bulldogs did today? Good. They did good? Well, Coach, congratulations on the victory, and we'll see what happens tomorrow with Concordia St. Paul. Awesome. Thanks. All right, with us post game is junior guard Trevor and Russell and Trevor. A marvelous comeback by you guys, 14 points. When did you realize that, uh, when was that turning point when you thought, man, we had a real shot to do this? Yeah, about midway through the second half, coach kept preaching, you know, we just needed to string a couple stops together. Uh, we ended up stringing a couple stops together, and then we went to our man, Brandon Meyer. He scored a couple possessions in a row, and then right then it was a five-point game, and we just kept getting stops and rebounds. Uh, and another key thing was Logan Rochai was three in the corner, got fouled, made a four-point play. That kind of really sparked you guys and get things going. And on the offensive end, you guys were just crashing the boards, finding ways to get extra opportunities. Um, what was the mentality for you guys going into the huddle every single time, getting timeouts, just kind of getting those refreshers from the coaching staff? What did you guys feel and what was preached to you guys during those timeouts? Uh, the th same thing that coach has been preaching all week. Got a rebound, we have to take care of the ball, and then we have to get good shots. Then we have to guard guys one-on-one -on, -one on the defensive end. So that shot in the corner by Logan was huge. He's one of our best shooters, one of the best shooters in the conference, and every time he shoots it, we think it's going to go in. And then obviously, wrapping up the game, you guys have kind of struggled from the three throw line. Didn't show tonight. You guys shot excellent at the end. You, in particular, nailed the three throws. Uh, how key is that for you guys to just finally turn that corner, start hitting your three throws? Uh, it's super key. Once you see a couple fall, um, the rest kind of seem to go right in, and it's big for us. We've been struggling from the free throw line, but coaches that kept preaching that we just need to keep shooting with confidence. That's what we keep doing, and they felt tonight. Wonderful. Well, Trevor, thank you for your time, and congratulations on the win. Thank you.